interesting start to the season. We talked a lot about it, but reflecting back on how you started, where it was the waiver claim and then the trade, ultimately ending up here with the Calgary organization, do you feel like you made the most out of out of kind of a tough situation? It was, like you said, the long start, uh, not playing and coming here. I was uh, I was looking just to play, have fun, and uh, I think I did pretty good for the uh, when I was in that, and that was that's what they wanted me to do, and that's what I was looking for as well. And you know, I had fun playing and keep it you know simple. You you kind of solidified the goaltending position at a time where. John Gillies was gone. He was hurt and done for the year. And, and then obviously Ordeo comes down and the two of you kind of tandem it out uh, for a while, especially when you return from injury. Um, do you take pride in the fact that, that you had such a great record at the start, especially when you didn't play a, a, a meaningful game in, in quite some time? Yeah, I was happy about it. Um, I worked a lot with the goalie coach in here and um, we did a good job just, you know, getting me ready uh, after a long stretch, not playing and um, you know, stats are stats as well, though. It, it's just, it's a number. I, I, I try not to look at it too much. I just look at, you know, winning games and and um, give the uh, the team an opportunity to win. Do you feel like you gave an opportunity to your team to win every game you played? Because it certainly, from the outside looking in, looked like you gave every, every game that you had, you kept the team in it. I think I, I did a good job and most of the night and you know sometimes you're gonna have an off night but I, I just think it's human but um for the most of the season i was uh, proud of myself yeah you missed the last little portion of the year due to injury but you had a young 18 year old goalie come in what sort of I mean, did you kind of have some advice for him when he came in or did he kind of pick your ear a little bit as a guy who's been around for a bit um i mean i just talked to him a little bit you know he, when it's your first couple of pro starts it's always uh nerve-wracking but he uh, he did such a wonderful job and he was great when he had when he had to be and he d he you know took an opportunity and made the most of it as a, as a pending rfa now do you have you looked towards the off season or has there been any conversations for you so far about that status no not really it's just uh i think we'll, we'll be in contact uh, a little later you know around june or july and we'll uh, we'll see uh, what's the plan on both sides there, there's obviously a lot of flux with the Calgary goalie situation as a whole. Do you feel like you may have done enough where you might be one of those guys that could throw your hat in the ring for uh, for maybe potentially playing in Calgary next year? Uh, I don't know. Well, uh, I guess we'll see. I, I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know what they uh, what's their plan. Is being here something that you'd be interested in? Is this where you, you want to play? Uh, I mean, I'll take a look at all my uh, options. Um, and we'll see. I'm, uh, like you said, I'm a restricted free agent, so not a whole lot of options. But um, you know, I'll take a good look at it. And are you looking to improve any of your any certain parts of your game this summer? Uh, you know, mostly at the beginning will be uh, injury prevention and you know just strength in general as well. And you know, there's always a couple things you wanna you, you wanna get better at and. Um, had a good talk with the goalie coach and uh, the strength coach, and uh, yeah, we uh, we set a couple of goals for us. You have a you have a young family. Is there any uh, things that you have for the off season planned that uh, do not involve hockey at all? <coughs> uh, second kid is on on its way. Uh, it's supposed to come uh, July third, so yeah, it's gonna be exciting. A lot new addition and. Uh, we're getting a new house, so it's going to be a lot of moving around. But, yeah, we're pretty excited about it.